Hello everyone on YouTube land, Nintendo Fanboy07 back here as always. Alright, uh, something concerning came out just yesterday, or was it a couple days ago or yesterday, uh, on indie games on the Switch. Now this is from, I believe, the Japanese side of Nintendo. I think they had some sort of convention or shareholder thing, I don't know. Bit Summit, some indie game thing for the Switch and Nintendo Japan. I believe that's what it was. I read it on my Nintendo News, and I'll put it in the description. But anyways, something very concerning, and it's, yeah. Nintendo's planning on releasing still 20, I don't know how many indie games, or I don't know what the total of games they release on the Switch each week since its launch. Not since its launch, what am I saying? Like, this is the second year of the Switch, so I don't know how many, I guess it depends, you know, every week is different. Some, some some weeks it's not a lot, some weeks it's like 30 fucking games. But they are releasing 20 to 30 indie games on the Switch per week. They're going to they're gonna continue that. Um, and that's, yeah, like I said, it's very concerning and worrying. For me, you know, especially for someone who has a Switch, I'm sure, I'm sure if you're watching this, you're like, this is very, this isn't, this isn't right. This isn't right. Um, and it's not that they're indie games. It's the fact that majority of the stuff that's on the Switch eShop is not quality. Um, and I said that plenty of times in other videos that they need quality control on there. Um, if, it's, if they're good games, if they're good games, that's fine. But majority of it is $5 games, $3 games. I mean, even some of the shittier ones that are on there are pretty expensive. Some of them are like $14.99 to like $19.99. And it's just, it's, it's mind-boggling. It really is. Um, and, there, and there's too many of them. There's way too many of them. That's, you know... It's obviously not the reason why many of us bought a Switch. Indie games are fine and everything like that. It's good to play different things, but I bought it to play, you know, my Nintendo first-party games and obviously other third-party games too. Bigger, I guess, AAA games. I mean, there's just so much garbage on there. You get to sift through everything to get to the good stuff, or at least the decent stuff on there, and it's just, it's really, I don't know. I, I know a lot of people that are easily entertained or they like everything. There's a lot of people out there that are just, they praise everything that comes out and it's like, yeah, this is great, this is great because it's an indie game, it must be good, right? It's so much fun, it's so good. It's like, are you sure? You know, I've been hearing a lot of good things about that Hollow Knight game and there's a lot of decent stuff on there, but man, like 80 to 85% of the stuff on the Switch eShop is, not, is trash, like it's, just, it's trash. So, this is very concerning, hopefully, Nintendo someday in the Switch life cycle around that time. <laughs> I don't know who knows how long this how long they're planning on supporting the Switch. Probably six years at the most, seven years, who knows. Who know like just in that time I hopefully they, they realize that we need to fix the eShop. It really does. I mean it, it really does need to be overhauled. They need more categories in there. They have some categories or whatever to, you know, separate stuff from older releases or stuff that's on sale or new releases or stuff that's coming soon. They have that there, but it still needs an overhaul. It needs some work big time. And this we're, we're in the second year of the Switch. Switch is still a baby, I guess if you want to call it that. It's still a very young system, so it's not too late to fix the eShop. But yeah, 20 to 30 games per week, or indie games. It's not like these are good games. It's like, I'd rather have quality over quantity. I mean, that's how I've always been ever since I was a kid. I mean, just because a system has a lot of games doesn't mean it's, they're all good, you know? I mean, there's a lot of shovelware on every system, but I want quality over quantity. I really, I really do, and we need quality control fast, especially on a Nintendo system where you just have tons of crap on there and Nintendo expects you to buy all this stuff. You're just like, I mean, they highlight the good stuff in their Nindies Direct type showcase thing, but they really expect you to buy like all of it. You're just like, dude, no. You need to regulate that. You really, really do. Like, none of the majority of this stuff is not good. It looks like stuff that's made from <laughs> who's just starting out and you're expecting to buy. I mean, half these developers on this on the that, that make games for the Switch know their games are not that good, so they charge like five dollars for them or three ninety nine or whatever. So that's fine, but to see that stuff on there is just not good. It doesn't make the Switch look good. It makes it look bad. It looks makes it look like a Google Play Store or uh, anything. Apple Play Store. Apple whatever the fuck it is. 
whatever they call their store. Any digital shop on a phone, you know, that's what's that's what it's looking like. It looks really bad, so it needs work. So I don't know. That's pretty much all I have to say about this. And comment down below what to say about this. So anyway, anyways, done with this video. Peace out. Later.